Let me just get my son settled and I'll be right with you, okay? Have they found Dad? I think we'd know about it if they had. What are they doing here? I don't know. Look, will you take Will upstairs? Make sure he puts his pyjamas on. He's freezing. Why? Where have you been? And there was some wild talk about hot chocolate, wasn't there? Mm -hmm. you, you can manage that. Mum? I'll be up in a while, OK? Oh, darling, please. I don't think I could take another battle. Thank you. <sighs> Are they here about Dad? Apparently. <sighs> well, are they going to want to talk to me? Why would they want to do that? Not because of Ryan. Well, there's nothing to tell, is there? <sighs> Darling, please just go upstairs and look after your brother. I can't do everything, OK? Gentlemen, what can I do for you? When did you last see your husband, Mrs Wilde? <sighs> uh, about two weeks ago. And have you had any contact with him during this time? None whatsoever. Only uh, we've had a phone call reporting him missing. Yeah, well, three guesses who that was from. Miss Lamb seemed very concerned about him, said there'd been an altercation. She spends an awful lot of time worrying about my husband. Had he arranged to go away? I have no idea what his plans were. So you're not concerned? Be happy if I never saw his face again. Could he have gone to stay with friends, business contacts? I honestly don't know. Well, has he taken any of his clothes? All still in the wardrobe, as far as I can tell. What about his car? Still here. Passport? Uh, oh, I'd have to check. We keep them in the safe. I'm not saying this is wild. You seem <clears throat> incredibly accepting of the fact that your husband's just gone missing without explanation. It, we had an argument. Still to have not heard anything from him at all. If my wife went here, well, I'd at least want to know if she was safe, even if she wasn't speaking to me. Yeah, well, you don't know Mark. But you do. Yes, I do. Oh, this isn't the first time he's disappeared. He's done it before. Pretty sure he could do it again. You're late, aren't you? Yeah, Kane's got me working overtime. Just came back to get a bite to eat. Oh, I hope he's paying you. Of course he's paying me. Ryan, I, uh, I think I might have done something a bit stupid. That's a first. And you should know. Let's face it, I've kept enough secrets from you. I called the police and reported Daniel missing. Why would you bother? Someone has to. No, no, they don't, Mum. I can't believe you even still care about him. Whatever he's done, he's still your father. Not to me, he's not. I wish I'd never met him. Oh, don't say that. Why? It's the truth. I, I don't even care about him, Mum, and he certainly doesn't care about us. Get over it, because he obviously has. Faye, uh, turned up last year. Well, I didn't know who she was. Eventually, Mark admitted he'd been married to her and hadn't got a divorce. That must have been hard to cope with. And so, when you became aware that you weren't the first Mrs Wilde... Oh, well, I am, actually. Well, Mark Wilde isn't his real name. He told me his name is Daniel Lamb. OK. Well, <clears throat> when you found out about his first wife, what was your reaction? He told me she meant nothing to him. That we were going to be OK. And you believed him? For a while. Till I realised I was deluding myself. They're planning to run off together. It's going to leave me and the kids. How did that make you feel? Oh, I was delighted. Look, as much as I'd happily throttle him with my own bare hands, he is father to my children. And they need him. So, you'd have him back if that's what he wanted? I think it's best if he stayed away. I'm afraid that's not going to be an option. Bigham is a very serious offence. We're going to need to speak to him as soon as possible. Well, what if he doesn't want to be found? That's not his choice to make. He's broken the law. Can we check and see if his passport's here? At least try and establish if he's still in the country. Sure. Safe's in the office. 
Does he have friends or relatives abroad? He could be laying long till the dust settles. Yeah, well, your guess is as good as mine. Could have a third wife stashed away for all I know. Will's asking for you. He wants a story. Oh, good. I'll be up in a minute. I've got an address book of his somewhere. I could dig that out for you. Thank you. We'll need a current photo. Help yourself. Don't worry. You'll get it back. We'll take good care of it for you. And if you could check for that passport, I'd be grateful. Save us coming back bothering you every five minutes. Sure. Have they gone? Yes. Has Will? Has he finished his hot chocolate yet? Yeah. Well, I didn't drink much of it, though. <sighs> what did they say? Well, they're treating it as a criminal investigation. Because he's gone missing? Uh, no, darling. It's because your father is a bigamist. Did they ask about Ryan? Well, they know he exists, if that's what you mean. But what about me and him? Darling, your father is missing. He's broken the law. That's what they're interested in. Not whether you or Ryan had some sort of crush on one another. Is that what you think it was? Darling, please, try and see the bigger picture for once, will you? But I can't get up. Oh, stop worrying. Now, I have to go upstairs and read Willis' story, all right? Well, Mrs. Wilde's confirmed your suspicions that the suspect's gone here, well... Suspect? Well, rather keen to speak to Mr. Wilde, or Lamb. Whatever else he might be calling himself. Especially now we know he's a bigamist. Why didn't you tell us he was still married to you, Mrs. Lamb? Is it really relevant? Well, yeah, it is very relevant. I can understand why you might have wanted to protect him, but the fact remains he's broken the law. He could be seriously hurt or dead. Isn't that what you should be concentrating on? No, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Don't you worry about that. What we need to know now is if there's anything else you've neglected to tell us that might be relevant. I appreciate it can't be easy, but I'm going to need you to be frank. On the night of his disappearance, I believe you were set to run away with... Mark. Is that right? No. We were. We had planned to, but... Uh, when it came to it, we couldn't do it. It would have destroyed so many lives. So you agreed to call off the affair? The relationship was already over. We agreed to put the children first. And that meant Mark was going to stay. Only he didn't did him. No one's seen him since. Exactly. It doesn't make any sense. After everything he'd been through, why would he leave? The truth was out. Why wouldn't he stay? Cut that out for a start, Sonny. Right, it will be about a week, I promise. Don't go burning down the end. Mm, uh, Keep an eye on her. Let me know if she starts to get lonely. Oh, like I'd be able to stop her. Excuse me, I'm stood right here. <laughs> Debbie, could I have a word with Ryan? Yeah, yeah, sure. Not here. It's not really convenient, is it, Debs? No, no, it's fine, you go. You've been here long enough, I'll lock up. I've brought some CDs. <sighs> I bet you have. Take it easy with you, Debbie! The police have been round. Yeah, Mum said you found them. Will ran off looking for Dad and Mum found him half frozen in the woods. What? Is he okay? Sort of. I don't know. Everything's just falling apart. I, I didn't know what to do. I tried to stay away, but... Maisie. I just had to see you. No one else knows what it feels this like. This is not a good idea. I'm going out of my mind. I can't help you. We can't just pretend nothing happened. We couldn't help it. OK, we didn't know, but we do now. So, so we've got to try and find a way to put it behind us. Maisie, it's weird. You've got to move on, yeah? What are you doing? Please, Ryan! No! It's, it's disgusting! We, 
We can never ever be together like that again, okay? But I've got no one! I, I don't care! I'm sorry, just, just stay away from me, alright? I can't deal with this! <laughs> <laughs>